I don't know what's going on with this internet shit, but check it out. Yo, cut to the chase TV, fam. Listen, you got 118,000 subscribers on YouTube, bro. You are a blogger, man. You don't even, you ain't never said nothing about my sister, my sister music or nothing, bro. You feel me? You turn around and do a 15 minute video and in seven hours got over 35,000 views smearing my sister legacy. Talking about she was some drill rapper, bro. Let's first off, let's address that. She was not a drill rapper, bro. She was so creative and so dope, bro. Wasn't shit about what she's saying. Drill, okay? Then you said that she, it was probably, that she probably, something probably happened to my sister in retribution to the fact that she killed her ex-boyfriend nine months ago and was doing uh, this album about it called X Woodpack, bro. And she went viral and all that shit on Academics. Yo, fam, let me tell you something, bro. She paid over $20,000 to Academics. Facts, bro, to get that fucking uh, promo by him. Yo, what are you talking about? Them interviews that you saw her doing and all that shit that you seen her on the porch. Like, bro, pay for that shit, brother. You know anything about the industry, bro? You got to pay to play, bro. Ain't nothing in this shit free. I don't give a fuck who you is, fam. Ain't nobody doing no interviews for free, fam. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you something, bro. You don't know what you talking about, bro. That shit was fake. It was fake, bro. She did not kill no ex-boyfriend, bro, and make a whole album about it, bro. Her last album, bro, you tripping, bro. You smearing my sister legacy, man. You need to fix that. Y'all niggas don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. Y'all doing all these reports and shit for clickbait. No jumper posting my sister, bro. You should have been posting my sister, no jumper. She could have been blue. What are you talking about? She was the illest. She was the goat, bro, and the richest. She, anybody that know my sister know this, bro. She was just finna spend 250000 nigga, a quarter million, boy, for a promo tour. What is you talking about, drill rapper, bro? These rappers ain't had no money like my sister. You a goofy, bro. You tripping, bro. You need to do your homework, fam, before y'all motherfuckers start doing posts and shit, nigga. But you need to fix that, bro, and put real respect on my sister's name and her legacy, man. What it do, Dang. bro? Hey. Hey, bro, bro. That ain't how you come off to somebody like that. You know what I mean? You don't go to, you don't go on nobody's channel and, Tell them take a uh, post down. You, your friends, your family, whoever. That's just like going on a nigga block and telling them, ah, right, y'all gotta go in the house at eight o'clock. Right, I ain't no selling none of that out here. What? You know how goofy you sound? Matter of fact, you not goofy, y'all sound. You said this young lady pay academics twenty thousand dollars to paint that narrative that she killed her ex. So who fault is it? We got to debunk a lot of stuff that's going on on town business. I know y'all heard about Tan the Guy. I done seen a lot of these creators out here making a lot of videos, getting hundreds of thousands of views on the wrong narrative, on the wrong information. But today, the Heartbreak Avenger and your boy, Boy Black, and with our special guest, because we got to debunk a lot of stuff that's going on on town. And then another thing, like, y'all be quick to say somebody ain't from somewhere. You don't have to be from somewhere to create content. I don't have to create content on just where I'm at. I can create content on a giraffe if I want to. <laughs> yes. She was from Oakland or wherever. She got killed in Oakland. Okay, yes. She was a rapper, right? So that means she was part of the culture, right? So content creators got every right. You feel me? No matter if she was from Zimbabwe to report on it if they wanted to. I just don't know where y'all get off at telling people, ah, oh, yeah. Y'all ain't from it. Ah, you should, you gotta take this. That. No, no, it don't work like that. You feel me? Cause I, I don't think none of y'all had the same, the, the same energy face to face with people, man. That's, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Cause a lot of things wouldn't pan out the way y'all think. You feel me? And then you got another dude on there that said everything the right way, like, yeah, she did this. She said, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Don't nobody got to go and, God damn it, get no encyclopedia or ah, that shit to look up. what She told us what was going on. That's the, that's the narrative she painted for herself. 
You feel me? I got it from Tam the God, rest in peace. She is the one that quote unquote said she caught the body. She was smoking on the X-Pack, right? And the picture on the album cover of the X-Pack mixtape was a real picture of her and her boyfriend. That body didn't even match up. The skin tone didn't even match up to the real picture of the guy that was killed by right. Miss Westbrook. You feel me? Right. So this was all a ploy. This was all a plot. This was all a twist. This was all sprucing up, you know what I'm saying, Eject, um, in, injecting steroids on the story to make, create, create a content, yeah. a buzz. She was an innocent girl. She was just trying to sell some records, bro. She didn't kill nobody. That she, West, Westbrook did. She, that's, the story is true about somebody, a woman killing a man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the cookies and all that stuff, but, you know, it, that story is real. Creators is doing what content creators do, and that's make videos, make content. Your sister done a tour on how she killed her ex and what she smoking on. Yeah, she knocked her ex down, but it was the whole time. It was another woman's story, right? So why would she try to make it seem like she did it, cause she wanted she wanted that recognition, she wanted that look. And I and I said in my video, the the tongue is a powerful. It ain't even had to be uh, for her. It could have been for somebody else. Just the shit she was saying and the, the way she was going about it. Look, rest in peace to her. You know what I mean? My condolences to the family and friends. You feel me? But she wanted us to think. That she was like that. That a nigga was beating on her. And she knocked his ass down. And what they say. The narrative she put out there. Like what six months later she got knocked down. And so what would you think? What would y'all think? That's all I'm saying. You can't just go uh, on nobody page. None of y'all talking about man it's the wrong narrative. Ooh, she didn't do. Now nah, y'all gotta look at it like. Nah ain't nobody gotta do shit. Put out there exactly what she said and she said she killed her ex and she got gunned down later that's what that's that was the that was the narrative right there the motherfucker gotta go do no motherfucking homework journalism shit put out exactly what she said that's it that's all but it is what it is man leave your comments man subscribe to the channel man Still shot up somebody just had to shooting up here at fucking a beauty supply grand opening now my whole is shot up it's a good thing i took me and i have my daughter with me today like you can't do nothing in oakland nothing at all like this my whole windshield somebody just aimlessly shooting at a fan opening like i gotta pack my whole stand up and go i'm never doing another event out here like how the fuck does this tesla get shot up then Benz, which is my car. How does my car get shot? And I have nothing to do with this. Like, people just aimlessly shooting. And still shot up. Was there somebody in the store? I have not. I was in the bathroom when they started shooting. So I really don't know what was going on. This is crazy, though, y'all. But you want to know what's even crazier? I have my daughter with me and two other kids. And my stand was right here. Right here. The kids was lined up right behind the stand. All the family and kids. Little kids. Toddlers is out here. And it... Frank got grazed in the whole ass leg. Like, you can't do nothing. Was there somebody in the store? I have not. I was in the bathroom when they started shooting. So. You can't bump your leg out of the budget. I don't want to do that kind of budget. You're going to have to get under arrest. I don't want to be under arrest.